me, Clarissica, here on Clarissica Says, where Clarissica says it all, and that is how I feel. So if you guys do not know already, I am about to fill you in. For those of you who do not know, Bill Cosby, today, today, April 26th, 2018, the Bill Cosby, yes, Bill Cosby of the Cosby Show, Bill Cosby, little Bill, Bill Cosby was sentenced. He was actually found guilty. The verdict of the judge of his trial of this assault charge, this sexual assault charge, was actually found guilty. Now, Andrea Costin had started this entire thing back in 2004 saying that Bill Cosby had took him to his suburban home and basically drugged him, drugged her, and molested her. And from her starting this situation, saying that back in 2004, he did this, this started all these people coming out saying, oh, he assaulted me too, he molested me too, he did this to me, did that to me, and today he has been actually, like, verdict guilty for three charges of indecent assault for sexual assault charges. And I found this, like, really, like, are you serious, you guys? Like, are you serious? Like, Andrea, like, she is actually known to be a con artist. Like, she literally set this stuff up so, therefore, she can actually sue Bill Cosby. And in the judge world, in the courtroom world, it's about, like, who can prove themselves more. So, if people that are out there making up stories, lying about stories, fabricating situations go on there or go on the witness stand and literally tell the jurors because then at the end of the day this is a jurist a judicial system so the jurors have to go ahead and choose what side they want to choose then you already know what's going to happen so i feel like andrea literally is a con artist and she made the situation be so much more than it actually was i mean we don't really know what really happened between andrea and um bill cosby they could have actually been together she could have actually agreed to all this stuff we don't really know the real details so all i know is the media runs a lot of stuff so for instance if i was to say something and i got five to ten people saying what I said and what I said wasn't even true but because I said it and I can now prove myself to be true and people that make decisions agree upon what I'm saying even though it's not true I'm telling the truth and that's basically what I feel like it happened with Bill Cosby I feel as though there are there is some things that may have happened in the past I mean those things are in the past this man is 80 years old I'm not saying that he should go and drug people up and molest people or do whatever whatever but I am saying that a lot of these situations are not true a lot of these situations are really fabricated a lot of people that they're up there if they were actually accordance with them if he does actually know who they are they were actually trying to talk to Bill's cause because Bill, let's, let's remember you guys he is a celebrity so they could have actually went, went through with the situation and literally was like okay 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 he gave consent for this but now come back at the latter moment and now is going against them because let's be honest back in his day when it's all originally started back in his day when the first person came out there were a lot of stuff happening, like people used to do kind of drugs, people used to, do, like, you know, they used to, you know, actually experiment with certain drugs and certain stuff, and then him being a younger comedian and in the entertainment business, they try a lot of drugs out, and if you are going to be a groupie, which a lot of these girls are, or were groupies, you will be around the stuff, and therefore you have the option to either indulge in them or not to indulge in them. And they apparently, apparently some of these girls did indulge in them, and if they didn't indulge in them, and they're still talking about it, again, they're just liars, and Andrea just need people to go ahead and be on her side to go against Bill Cosby. Now, on another note, because honestly, we don't know what's the truth, because I don't know Bill Cosby personally, I just know that I know for a fact that whenever it's down to any person that is a melanated person of, like, my race in the entertainment business, in the entertainment business, I'm going to repeat myself, most times than not, they do not leave the business with a good statement to their name. Now, it's different between being a poet, but if you're, like, a singer or a rapper or a comedian or just something of that nature, and you are really big and you're not bringing them any money, 
because this is about money. You're not bringing him any revenue because Bill Cosby's still Bill Cosby, but he's not really in the media like he used to be. He's not really doing any real shows like he used to do. He does, of course, pop-up things before the situation happened. He did, like, you know, pop-up things where people would be, like, the, the celebrity on the show and the guest, the guest star, basically. But other than that, he wasn't really bringing any new revenue, being that he's 80 years old. He's about to go, you guys, and he just let him live in peace. Like, it's so crazy, but that happens to all these entertainers because then again, under these contracts, and they need the money coming in. No matter what age you are, they still want you and your services to make more money for them. And whenever you can't make no more money for them, they let you loose. And if you get to a point where you are at this age and you cannot make any money for them, they do let you loose. And sometimes, most times than not, and especially with our skin color, people are not able to leave this earth with out a shameful excuse oh, to their name. So now Bill Cosby, after being the man, like literally the person, an advocate, the, the male father figure for our race, in this whole society, Bill Cosby, the Cosby Show, Lil Bill, has now had a three count of, of indecent assault, sexual assault charges against him. You see what I'm saying? They don't think about Michael. Okay, let's start it. Michael Jackson, one. Oh, he had to go. He got. He did this and that. Prince. Oh, he did perfect. Uh, Bobby. Or not Bobby. You know who I'm talking about. That girl, Whitney. Whitney Houston. The same exact thing. And I can go on and on and on and on down the list of people that are melanated people that literally did a whole bunch of things here in the world for the entertainment business and did not leave with a positive note on their name. And why is that? It's ridiculous. It's, this man should not be 80 years old and people bringing up things that happened to him or that happened or that didn't happen or that could have happened or whatever at the age of being 80 years old. I know this kind of stuff happens. Okay, that's this is not something that you want to throw over. Of course not. But if this was something that was serious, at that time, you would have said something. You wouldn't have waited years and years and years after to then go out and say, oh, this is what happened. I do believe sometimes the industry put things like this up for people that are in the industry that cannot produce for them. I believe that kind of stuff. And you call me crazy? I don't care. But I'm telling you, this stuff is not fair. This 80-year-old man is going to go to jail because of this incident or these incidents or the situations that happen okay why didn't you say something then why did you not say something then when it happened i mean he did have one situation that did all they go through and he did have to pay 3.4 i believe or something it was a couple of millions of dollars to the person who it happened to and the whole situation started but that's how it started so now you see what happened they have one situation that happened and now everybody joined the bandwagon yeah mr me too yeah let me miss what's that song who sings that song but it's the one guy that says yeah i know yeah me too uh-huh uh-huh yeah you know call mr me too that's all that's happening all these people that you see all their witnesses and running out the courtroom and crying no 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 fakeness they're just there as a witness just to call me two people to have to have people against bill cosby and to prove that lady andrea who sued now what i will say is that he did actually have an outburst at the courtroom during the verdict during the courtroom verdict there was an outburst and the reason why is because he was literally um not going to get the opportunity to be able to have bill because of one of the attorneys there they did not want to give him bail. they said because he had too much money and he has a plane that he well shouldn't be offered bail. are you crazy he gets he gets he he needs to get bail. and i believe i'm with bill Cosby. i'm tired of that man who is that man attorney kevin Steele. he would not stop like let that man rest let him go to his let him have his bond let him because you know what at the end of the day you guys already sentenced him don't put him through any more turmoil that he has to go through i just feel the whole situation is unfair like we do not know the truth we would never know the truth they would never tell us the truth and in this situation he literally is gonna go to jail for a while i know one count of this is 10 years he's already 80 so basically he's gonna die in jail like bill cosby is gonna die in jail you guys do you know how many 90s baby lived up to bill cosby but of course break down the male character 
break down the male role because let's think back in the day of course all the people used to go and rape the other you know the european fair women that's what used to happen they were lying and this is the same exact shit situation that's happening right now and you know i'm just going ahead and let the video go because if i keep going i'm gonna keep i'm gonna get angry because this man is 80 years old and that's my check like I'm done. Other than that, you guys, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and see this video. Let me know how you feel. I'm going to go ahead and post the footage of the actual situation that happened in the courtroom. And I, I'm with him. I'm with Cosby going and saying, I am tired of this guy. Like, leave me alone, basically. And let me just, let me just go my way because either way i'm going to be in jail for this situation i won't be able to live my life any further out in the realistic world and i don't know how long he's going to be on bond or how long he's going to be out until the next i guess situation when he has to go and actually get the final sentencing of how long he'll be in jail what's going to happen but i do know that this is a really 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 sad situation and they do this to a lot of our people and it's crazy how all these girls can go up for money and play the me too role so i'm gonna let this go i'm gonna go ahead and post the video now i'm done talking you guys if you can't tell i'm a little aggravated i'm done talking about it like i'm done talking about it i'll see you guys later peace out y'all